Hey, 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 it's Dr. Tara here, and today we're going to talk about negative marketing. What do I mean by negative marketing? Well, there's two parts to what I want to teach you today. One part has to do with using words and images that construe what I'm going to refer to today as a negative connotation, and the other is bad math and competitors, right? And either way, you really want to avoid both equally. So let me first talk about negative words and images. Some words, some images are linked in our unconscious mind with what I'll refer to as more negative emotions. And we don't even realize it as the marketer, as the coach, as the consultant, whatever it might be. The experience of advertising for the inception of ads has shown that positive images versus negative images work much better as well as positive words. And there's been so many tests and so many studies, the results are in, you can't deny the evidence. So let me tell you some of the things to avoid. And I was literally all over social media and on people's websites today, just taking a, a look at the kinds of words that people are talking about. They're talking about struggling, frustrations, challenges, pain. Um, many times I'm looking in people's Facebook group and someone's posting, what's your biggest struggle? What's your biggest challenge as a coach? What's your hardest thing to do as an author? And I'm like, why are people even talking about that? I walk around looking at what's easy, effortless, joyful, and fun. I don't look at struggle, challenge, frustration. I choose to experience my world as joyful, effortless, easy, and fun. Um, so I want you to really think about the kinds of words and images you're using. I saw an image this morning of a person like with their empty pockets and you don't want to do what a lot of people have taught, agitate people's pain and suffering, especially in today's world. People have enough pain and enough suffering. We don't need to add more pain and suffering and they can easily make a decision to say yes without that. According to um, most of the big companies that have done marketing tests on this, uh, companies that do um, over, they send out over a million ad images a year. So it could be direct mail letters, it could be advertising in newspapers, magazines, radio, TV, or whatever. Positive images are the way to go. Negative images do not yield as many hand raises and what I call reverse marketing where people raise their hands and want to work with you. The second part that I said I would talk about is this bad mouthing of competitors. And, you know, we, we really can avoid talking negative about them. We're different, right? What you do, if you followed me, you've learned to do a core, unique positioning statement. You're not a cookie cutter. You truly stand out. So every single day you get a conveyor belt of qualified prospects. It, you don't need to run around saying, this person sucks or that person, you know, isn't good or whatever. And I'm not just talking about others in your industry or in your niche. I'm just talking about in general, right? So I was looking at a, a, a potential client family member and he owns a gym and he wants to get into doing fitness coaching and consulting. And on his website, he literally was talking about why his competitors don't do things right. And he named one of them, which I was like, ah. So that's very like disarming to people. And you don't have to agree with what your competitors say. So I disagree with most of my competitors. And I will say, I don't believe in advertising. I don't believe in spending money on marketing. I don't believe you have to write a book, do a blog, do a podcast. I'm very contrary to what they say. However, I'm not putting them down. There are people who wanna follow that. There are people who like that model. I don't teach to do tons of webinars and constantly spend money on banners and PowerPoints and all this stuff. I just show up. I am who I am. And in my experience, the more real you are, heart to heart, connection, entrepreneur, integrity, authenticity, transparency. So my reminder to you, whether in words, in images in mentions of competitors keep it positive you know in reality i think i have a battery here in reality positive and negative are neutral a positive charge over here isn't necessarily better than the negative over here so in reality i don't necessarily believe there's a positive and a negative 
I do believe that there's a way of doing business that yields results. And that's what I wanted to share with you. Hope that something in here was helpful. And I'd love to know if it is what resonates. Bye now.